Thank you. Uh, the next dance that we're going to do is called the Sash Dance. And it comes from uh, the Scottish side of our ancestry. And I first learned this from the Edmonton Métis cultural dancers who are from Edmonton. And uh, they learned it from an elder in Prince George, so the story goes. And uh, I went and uh, competed there last year. Competing is kind of uh, something that our Métis people do, especially with the Red River Jig and the different square dances. It just makes us try really hard. And it's really just about having a lot of fun. And uh, so we, you can see, See that there's different festivals. There's a festival in, just in Vancouver Island called Red River West. There's another one in Duncan. The Red River West one is a, always the second week of July, and it's usually a whole week long. And they have just everything traditional there. They have teepees set up and just the old, old style of living. So it's really something to see if you want to go and experience something like that. And you can camp out and and uh, they do black powder rifle, rifle shooting and hatchet throwing and all different, lots of dancing and lots of fiddle music and lots of really great entertainment. Um, so that's one thing. And these festivals are all across Canada and uh, you just can't, can't get to them fast enough, I think, because there's so many. Um, and uh, so I was fortunate, fortunate enough to take first and second, or first place at John O'Can Fiddle Fest and, West, and uh, Edmonton Métis Dancers for the Western Canadian. The Canadian, the Western Canadian, and I got second in Batoche this year, so it was a good year and I had a lot of fun. And, it, and then it's just been great to be able to pass down the knowledge that I gathered throughout the summer, uh, just talking to different people, seeing new dances, and be able to share that with uh, all of my dancers and people across uh, BC. And I've been uh, privileged enough to be asked to do a lot of tours, a lot of teaching across Canada now, too. So the, the uh, the, the sash, sometimes we use sashes, and uh, they're usually smaller and thinner than the ones that you see the men wearing, and that's traditionally another thing that the, the people do is wear that sash, and maybe I'll tell you about that the next time around. But uh, again, it's about showing off different fancy steps with the, with the uh, belt, and so this is going to be a version of the belt dance. <laughs> 